All right, guys, I'm back with another video. So let's go with y'all, man. Hope everything's all good. Um, this video is pretty much long overdue. Um, I meant to make this video a long, long time ago. Just just never really uh, came to mind. Um, but, you know, it's basically an explanation of how I manifested a 2020 Nissan Versa, right? Now, I got this car officially of January of 2020, okay? And uh, before I even started before I even started to drive I was taking a bus all right I was taking a bus everywhere that I had to go to which was work or just run some errands if I want to go shopping I had to take maybe an uber or a lyft or you know ask somebody for a ride which you know if you know me in person I hate asking for favors I hate asking people for rides okay now you know usually I just hate relying on people in general, all right? I like to do things myself. If I have the ability to do things on my own, then I would do it solo, okay? That's the type of person I am. I'm very independent, all right? And um, if I couldn't find a ride, man, I'll just take a damn bus. And there have been times where I'm just, you know, late catching the bus, right? Or I'm like... I'm like right near the bus stop. Like I'm like two minutes right near the bus stop, right? A mile or a block. Next thing you know, the bus is already going. It's already leaving me behind. So I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta wait a whole nother hour, right? A whole nother hour for this bus so I can go to work, right? Let my job know I'm late. So this would happen on and off, but you know, too much really because you know, you know when you're working, you're trying to stack up your bread. You're not trying to be late for your job okay and uh it got pretty annoying after a while and then like around 2018 like late 2018 right i just started to get really sick and tired of taking a bus like you know five years of like leading up to that point of getting a car i was taking a bus everywhere okay because I, I barely had anybody to, like, take me anywhere that I need to go, right? Because, once again, it, it was a combination of, yeah, maybe I, I, do, I, I do need a ride here and there. But at the same time, I don't like asking people for a ride. You know what I'm saying? It just got to a point where, listen, I got to overcome the fear of driving and start learning how to drive. Because, you know... When you're an adult, okay, when you're an adult, you're grown, you need to start learning how to drive. It's very important for a lot of humans to, to, to drive, okay? You have to start learning how to drive when you're, when you're grown, okay? If you can learn by the time you're 13 or you, if you've got parents that are, that are going to teach you how to drive at an early age, you know, take those lessons. For me, on the other hand... I didn't have anybody in my family that knew how to drive, okay? Like, I'm basically the only person in my family that can fucking drive a car, okay? That wasn't scared to drive, okay? Like, my mom wasn't going to drive because her parents made her fearful of driving. You know, they instilled fear into her of driving in a car. Uh, my brother got into a car accident when he was a kid, so it's like, it's that lingering fear uh, that trauma that still is there and stuff, and it's like, that's causing him to not want to drive, okay? But for me, yeah, I got that fear. Yeah, I got those doubts. But at the same time, I still want to have that freedom of driving my own vehicle, of not, of not having to pay $20 in fees for a taxi, not having to pay all this money to take an Uber, or to take a Lyft, um, you know, spend over $100 a month in bus fare, month to month, okay? So I had to, you know, do it the hard way. As I said before, I did not have anybody to teach me how to drive. 
there's nobody in my family, my inter my intermediate, my um, my immediate family to teach me how to drive. Okay, so I had to learn myself. I had, I had to pay for my own lessons, right? And but before I even get to that point, I first had to take um, the the examination permit. Is it's it's what it's called. It's called an examination permit where you go to the motor vehicles and you just, you know, you take the test. They test your knowledge of driving and stuff like that on the road, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I signed up to take that test the first time around. I failed it, failed once, took it again the second time. The next week after that, failed again, okay? Um, pretty sure the answers, the questions switched up all the time. So I was just constantly studying and studying and studying until I got all right, you know what I'm saying? So I, and so I just, I knew all the answers, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I had to keep on studying so I can pass this uh, permanation, this um, examination permit to where I'm qualified to take driving lessons going forward, okay? So the third time I took it, the third time I took it, which was like March of 2019, March of 2019 that's when I took the third I took it the third time. The third time I'm like you know what I'm going to I'm going to pass this this test the third time. I'm going to pass the third time. I'm not failing. You know what I'm saying? And what wound up happening was I passed it the third time. Cuz you know, you fail two times at something, the third time you take it it's always going to be the charm. It's always going to be that good luck charm. You know what I'm saying? So I was hell bent on making sure that I passed that examination, that examination permit to complete that step of getting a car, right? And then after I, after I um, succeeded, after I passed that test, okay, I was qualified to take driving lessons going forward, okay? Mind you, Ain't nobody could teach me how to drive. Ain't nobody can teach me how to fucking drive. Ain't nobody taught me parallel parking. Nobody in my family, no friends. Nobody was willing to teach me. So it's like, all right, cool. Um, this is a, this is more like a DIY kind of thing. So I got to do it myself, which is cool because I can take credit for myself later later down the line and say the reason why this happened was because of me. Nobody else. Okay. So when it came to driving lessons, okay, I had to pay a fee to um, take lessons. Like for an hour, it's, it's like 100, no, not 100, it's 55 for an hour, two hours, 110. This is what they were charging me for an hour lesson, okay? For two hours of a lesson, 110. So it was pretty pricey, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I knew what the goal was. I knew what the assignment was, the mission was to get my first vehicle, to have that freedom of just having my own transportation. So yeah, if I had to pay $55 for a lesson, $110 for, you know, for two hours, whatever, I was going to make that, you know, financial sacrifice. But I knew in the long run, it was for the better. Okay. It was for the, for my own good. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I had to do. Um, you know, learning parallel parking. I still suck at parallel parking to this day, but it's all right. As long as I can drive, you know, efficiently on the road, you know, without without having any real terrible, terrible accidents, okay? Um, and then this was going on for like four months of me, of me getting lessons, but I was still working two jobs. So it's like, I didn't have a lot of time to like, get all the lessons I want to get. You know, I probably had like four lessons in between like the span of four months leading up to the actual test, the driver's test, um, to which once again, you know, when I took the driver's test in November, November 2019, um, I did not have anybody to take me to that test. Okay. Okay. I had nobody to teach me how to drive and nobody to, uh, and nobody would let me or, or nobody would allow me to use their car to take the test, the driver's test, okay? Whatever, cool, boom, right? Had nobody to rely on when it came to that to that aspect. 
so I had to use the um, the driver um, the driver teacher's car. Okay, I had to, I had to use um, you know the driver's teacher's uh, vehicle to take the test. Right, the same car that I've been practicing in, taking lessons in, I'm using that car to take the test. So take the test. I had to pay $125, okay, for a fee, right, to use the vehicle of my driver teach of my driver's teacher. I had to pay $125 just to take the test. So I was like, all right, if I'm paying this much to take the test, I know for sure I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass no matter what happens. I'm going to pass. So like, you know, the entire morning leading up to that test, I was focused. I was just laser focused on passing that test. I'm like, I'm not going to fail this. I'm going to pass. Like nothing was on my mind, but that driver's test, because once again, I knew what the goal was and I knew where this was going to lead to because once again, driving was so heavy on my mind around this point, around that time period, around 2019, driving a vehicle was so heavy in my mind. Like I, I just have to get that feeling of driving a vehicle. I just have to get that feeling of, of you know, having that liberation and just having my own transportation, not having to rely on anybody else, not having to take a bus no more. So like that was all in my in my mind. Okay. All that was just a build up to what was to eventually come, right? So it all worked out. You know, so I wound up passing that test because I was focused. I was just nothing else was on my mind. Nothing. I was like I wasn't hungry. I wasn't thinking about work. I wasn't I wasn't thinking about nothing else. Like that wasn't on my only only conscious was passing that test because when you're focused on a mission on an objective okay nothing else can get in your way towards completing that objective okay so i wound up passing it okay cool right next step was to get the license the next month after that got the license all right so now the last part right was to actually negotiate you know go to the dealership right now mind you the month after that which was january of 2020 was when i went to the dealership okay the first month of 2020 and uh you know my plan was to not get a car immediately all right not not right away that was not the plan my plan was to simply just test drive one of their vehicles, okay? Probably one of their, their their newest models, right? Which was a 2020 Nissan. At that time, it just came out, all right, 2020. Um, so I'm like, all right, you know, um, I didn't have a lot of options in mind because once again, I was not focused on, you know, like what car did I want to drive? I wasn't very specific of what vehicle that I want to drive for myself. Like I never had like before, around that time period, I didn't have um, a specific dream car that I want to drive, okay? It, my whole mindset was, listen, I just want to drive my own car, okay, to get from point A to point B, to be able to have that freedom of transportation and not have to take the bus, not to take the, the Uber, the Lyft anymore, just having my own, my own vehicle, okay? Having that, having that power, Okay, having that power to drive myself around wherever I need to go. So that was on my mind, heavy. Okay, I didn't care what vehicle it was. I mean, obviously, in a sense, I did care because I wanted to drive around a vehicle that was actually fucking worth it. You know what I'm saying? That, that you know, I got my money's worth. Okay, but when it came down to attracting a car, you know, my thoughts, my emotions, my behavior was on point. Everything was matched up to attract this vehicle, right? And, um, you know, I test drove this vehicle and, um, you know, at first, you know, I wasn't the perfect driver. I ain't gonna lie to you all. Like I was kind of, you know, nervous a little bit, had a little bit of anxiety. But granted, you know what I'm saying? I, I have not been driving for that long, right? Up to that point, I was only driving like four months at, you know, tops. But um, 
so driving so, so driving this car and test driving it you know i just had the sense that this car is mine right when i when i well, after driving it for like about 2 minutes on the road right and back to the dealership i just felt like it was mine like at that point something clicked that this vehicle that you're driving right now this is yours this is yours to have so it wasn't like that i had a lot of options but you know when you're going to the dealership when you're going to the dealership for the first time, you know what I'm saying? You're kind of new to nego to uh, negotiating, right? Wasn't that experience of negotiating with, you know, the sales rep of like coming, you know, coming up with a better, a uh, more beneficial rate that is uh, favoring towards my income and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, in my mind, I wasn't focused on much of the the price or you know, how much do I got to put down for, for this vehicle, which actually was not even much that I had to put down for the vehicle, but I had to finance the vehicle. I had to get a car loan, essentially, right? So, you know, what turned out to be just like a test drive, right? I'll come back again if I, you know, we can discuss a better, you know, better financing, you know, better financing, you know, deals or rates, whatever the case is. Um, but no, on that specific day, when I went to the when I went to the dealership and I test drove the vehicle, it's like, nah. God was like, nah. You're not you're not going home without this vehicle. Okay. I, I started to get the feeling that I'm not going home without this vehicle, right? Because in my mind, I just wanted to test drive it. But in 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 God's plan right how things work out for the for the better for me at least um i was meant to take home that vehicle this vehicle that i'm in right now i was meant, i was meant to take home this vehicle right on that day so i took it home you know i signed all the papers i, I was at the dealership for like four or five hours tops long ass time was not expecting to take home this vehicle but i did you know what I'm saying? On that very day, I took home a 2020 Nissan Versa, my first vehicle. Okay, brand new. A brand new vehicle. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've never been the negotiating type. I've never been the one to, like, really, you know, negotiate things with people. But, you know, I'm a ballsy person. Like, when I want something and my mind is set on that one thing, I'm going to get it, okay? I don't care what's in my, I don't care what barriers are in my way. I don't care what obstacles I have to overcome. I'm going to receive what I'm meant to receive. I'm, I'm going to get what I deserve. And in, the, and in this case, this vehicle is what I deserved because for the last two years prior, my mind was heavy on getting a vehicle, okay? And I just want to put, I just want to tell y'all, like, when you put your mind to something, right, and your thoughts and your emotions and your behaviors are matching up to what you really desire, what you really want, okay, the universe is going to respond to you well, okay? Obviously, you have to go through steps. Obviously, you have to go through certain things, okay? It's a process, right? Me getting this car was a process. It was not handed to me. Okay, it was not handed to me. You know what I'm saying? Like for some reason, I was able to even get a car without having really any much of credit history, right? I had to get somebody that had, you know, decent credit to co-sign for me, which I am extremely grateful for that, right? But um, it, it, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even factor in the expenses or the the price or even the loan itself. It, it it really was just me manifesting what I what I envisioned right for the past two years, and it came to fruition because first of all, you know, faith without works is pointless. Like I said, when it comes to manifesting, you got to put your energy into into you know working towards that goal 
into what you want, right? You gotta you gotta put action in. All right, you gotta apply yourself. And that's what I did. I applied myself to what I wanted. Okay? And I was not going to stop until I got my vehicle, my first ever vehicle. And, you know, it, it was supposed to happen this way, right? Because when I look back from the, from the very start of me just studying, you know, to take the examination permit and to pass it, you know, I failed twice, passed it the third time, you know, I had to pay for my own lessons, all right? I had to pay for my own lessons, I had to pay to take the driver's test and then going to get the, the actual license for my vehicle. And then, you know, just test driving it, you know, and, and not expecting to take this home so so damn soon. But it happened for a reason. It, ha it, it, it happened because, you know, once again, my thoughts and my emotions was heavy on driving. All right. And that's the that's the outcome that I attracted. That's the outcome that came. Right. Because everything was perfectly in, a, in alignment. Everything was perfectly in alignment. And the universe responded to me well, okay? A lot of people like to think, okay, manifestation is, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of magic. It's a bunch of BS, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's your opinion. But manifestation, manifestation is nothing if you're not putting in the work, if you're not putting in the time, the effort. If you're not betting on yourself, you're not going to receive what you want, you are not going to receive what you desire, okay? And in that case, the me, like, first time negotiating, not having the, the prior driving experience, not having parents, not having friends, not having people to teach me how to drive, that was going against me. That was the barrier that I had to overcome. The fear of also driving as well, okay, and not being that experienced on the road, that was another barrier that I had to overcome. Another barrier was, the financial aspect of it, okay? Putting the money down, okay? Um, credit score, not having the best credit score at that time period. Obviously, my credit score has gotten a lot better since I got this car, right? Because I had to have something in my name in order to increase my credit going forward, okay? You understand? So, all these barriers I had to overcome on top of going through the process. If I really wanted a vehicle, you know, I had to work for it. Okay? Mind you, I wasn't handed anything in my life. Like, I can sit here face-to-face -to, -face to this camera and let y'all know I come from nothing. I come from absolutely nothing. Was handed nothing in life. This vehicle? This vehicle, I had to work for it myself okay it took the effort it took the time it took the the persistence of making sure that I am driving a vehicle at some point in my life because I that was required for me I made it a requirement for me to drive a, a vehicle because I am not going to continue on my adult my adult life okay I'm not going to continue my adult life asking asking people for rides, you know, asking for favors and relying on taking a bus, relying on taking an Uber, done. That's over and done with, right? I just wanted it bad for myself and I wasn't, I wasn't going to let anything get in my way of getting what I wanted, okay? And when I put my mind to something, when I, when I, when I put my mind to something so heavy, I am going to do whatever it takes to get to what I want. I'm not gonna let anything get in my way or stop me. You know what I'm saying? When I see what I want, I'm gonna go and get it. Because that's that's just how you gotta move as a man. As a man, you when you see what you want and you know that's what you want, you better go after it. You better go after it. You better put yourself out there and apply your and apply yourself. Yeah, apply pressure. Apply pressure to your goals. Apply pressure to what you really want out of life. And go after it and stop being a bitch and just do it. Just take the action. Who cares if you don't have the experience that, you know, this applies to life in general, okay? In my case, I didn't give a damn if I didn't have 
previous driving experience, right? I didn't care. My mindset was I'm going to pass this test because I know that is the next step in order to get the vehicle that I want, okay? Me passing the examination permit, I don't care if I fail twice, I'm going to pass because I know that is part of the process. I gotta take these driving lessons. I gotta, I gotta spend some money. I will spend the money to take lessons, okay? It's part of the process, part of the process which will lead to the mission being completed, which will lead to, to the objective, okay? It's all part of the objective. It's all part of the mission, okay? I wasn't focused on, oh, man, I got to pay some money just to take this damn uh, lesson, man. That's some bullshit. No, I wasn't focused on the short-term sacrifice of my financial budgeting, you know, situation. It was, I'm focused on the long-term outcome, the results, Okay, I'm focused on the goal, the task at hand. Okay, I didn't care what obstacles or barriers that I had to overcome. I was going to drive a vehicle and nothing was going to get in my damn way. And look what happened. God blessed me with a vehicle. God blessed me. God blessed me. He blessed me with a 2020 Nissan Versa. The universe responded to me. The way I wanted to, the way that I wanted it to respond to me, okay. Based off my emotions, my thoughts, and my behaviors being in perfect alignment to what I wanted, okay. And I'm I'm, I'm sitting here in my car, letting y'all know that this is that you know, this is possible, okay. This is possible, but I had to tell my story, my manifestation, law of attraction story. And here it is, man. Uh, so with that being said, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe, and make sure y'all like the video so the algorithm can promote my video to more people and to where more people can see my video. Subscribe if you are new, more content is to come. God bless y'all. If y'all stay throughout the entire video, I appreciate y'all for that. Amen. And I'm out. Peace.